Good morning everyone, coffee time. Okay, so I'm starting off today with my Cover FX Anti-Blemish Mattifying Primer. Rubbing that all over my clean, moisturized face. What do you think guys, is it time to do my roots? I think so, yes. All right, I'm using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation with a domed, dense foundation brush, and I am swiping that all over my face. This has a good medium to full coverage. It can be a little bit drying, but um, so far I'm really liking this foundation. I'm using my Bye Bye Under Eye. This product you have to warm between your fingers before trying to put it under your eyes because it needs to be emulsified a little bit. And now I am setting everything with my MAC Studio Fix Powder. This is a powder foundation, but I just dot a little bit over the entirety of my face to set everything. And I am using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown to fill in my brows. I like my brows to be a little bit darker, obviously, than my hair. Um, it's just the look I go for. You can match yours to, you know, whatever you like. I'm using a MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to prime my eyes. This keeps your shadows on all day. This stuff is definitely worth it. I'm running that under my eyes as well, since I'll be putting shadow there. Now I'm setting all of that with a skin color powder. This will help your shadows to blend easier over that creamy um, paint pot. Now I am using a very soft, shimmery taupe color, and I'm concentrating that in the outer fourth of my eyelid, and then also running that slightly into the crease. The color I'm using is Inglot 153, and I am using a tapered crease brush to apply this. Same thing on the other side. And you can just build this color up to the intensity that you want. I wanted my liner to be the focus of this, so I'm keeping the colors pretty neutral. I am now using the color Best Friend from the Tartlet palette, which has a little bit of a purpley color to it, and I'm using a very small fluffy brush to really focus that in the very outer fourth of my eye. I like to stamp the color in and then slightly wiggle the brush around to blend it. Now I am using Makeup Geeks Unexpected in a large fluffy brush that also has a purpley hue to that shadow, so I'm just using that to blend everything into the crease a little bit more. Just want this to be really soft. Now I'm going in with a matte black and that same really small fluffy brush and just adding depth to the outer corner of the eye. Basically in the same spot where we added the shadow before, um, but keeping the color really concentrated and just sort of wiggling the brush to blend. Now the star of the show, this is Max Great Dame from the Haute Dogs Collection. I don't know guys, they didn't ask me about that. I can't say that I approve of the name, but whatever. I'm using a small angled brush and I'm going to run this along the base of my lashes and I'm going to wing it out. Now I'm pulling on my eyelid very gently so that I can get a taut eyelid so that the gel liner goes on nice and smooth and you get one smooth fluid line. You, know, you want to check as you're going along to make sure that your line isn't getting too thick, so just take your time with this. Then I'm extending that out at the end to create that wing. This is going to make your eye look larger. And you want to always make sure that you're angling up towards the end of your brow so that you aren't dragging your eyes down. Apparently I'm pretty proud of myself there. 
other eye. So I'm keeping my eyes open here and looking straight ahead as I create the outer wing. I have hooded eyelids, so um, by pulling my eyebrows up as I am, I'm sort of distorting the, sh the natural shape of my eyelid. So by keeping your eyes relaxed and looking straight ahead, you get a better idea of where to put your wing. Then I'm just building up the color and running that along the lash line. Same thing here, eyes open, looking straight ahead. And I stamp out where that wing is supposed to go. And then I connect the wing with the main line. I'm using Urban Decay's Midnight Cowgirl to the lid to brighten that up a little bit. And then I'm also using Caregiver from the Tartlet Palette, which is a matte, like, cotton candy pink. Again, just to add brightness and make my eyes look a little bit larger, more awake. I'm putting together this matte cream and uh, sort of a frosty white to get a nice highlight for my brow bone. I am tight lining with a black coal liner from Physicians Formula and I am making my eyes water a lot. Give me a moment. We're back. <laughs> All right. Now we've got Max Cranberry and a very small blender brush and I am running that through my lower lash line really densely. I like how the cranberry complements the purple and burgundy in the other shadows and the liner that we used. Now I'm stamping a little bit more of that taupe in back into the crease to just add a little bit more depth because some of the shadow got taken away during all of our other work. Torture device time, curl those lashes. I'm using my Jordana Bash Lash it, ugh, Best Lash Extreme. This is a great drugstore mascara. Actually, this is just a great mascara in general. You can get it at Walgreens. I'm stamping a little bit of a shiny highlight just at the highest point of my brow. And then I'm using Makeup Geeks in the Spotlight, a pinky champagne-y color in my inner corners. And that's the eyes done. So now to my ghostly face, we're going to use my NARS um, Laguna Bronzer and a big fluffy brush to carve out some cheekbones and add in some color and dimension back to the face. I'm running that all along the perimeter of my face. Now I'm using NARS Sin and my MAC Large Contour brush and I am sweeping that up along my cheekbone. I don't focus on the apples of my cheeks because they're already quite prominent and I don't want to accentuate them more. I want to elongate my face so that is why I do my blush sort of up along the extent of my cheekbone. And I'm blending that really well. And then I'm using my foundation brush to blend the edges so that color doesn't look too harsh. Now I'm using my contour powder from Inglot and a Sigma E40 brush to put some shadow and dimension back into my face. So there's some cheekbones running along the very edge of my face and there's a jawline. Hello. This is Benefits What's Up. It's a cream highlighter. Running that along the high points of my cheeks. 
This is a cream product, but it goes over powder really well and still blends nicely, so you don't have to be worried about you don't have to be worried about putting that over, you know, the the face that you've already set with powder. Apparently pretty impressed with myself there. Now on the tip of my nose and also on my cupid's bow. And now I'm using my NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Plum to line the edge of my lips. Love this color for fall. This is the NYX Butter Lipstick in the color Hunk and I am applying this all over the lips. This is a beautiful creamy formula. Check these out if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed the finished look. Thanks for getting ready with me and I'll see you in my next video.